hello guys welcome to buddy developers and in this video we will see how you can customize the archive page template of geo directory using db page builder we will also see how you can do the same for the gd search page and for the archive item so let's start so this is how my archive page template looks with default db theme and now i will go in db and in theme builder to customize this template so as we have done it for detail page i will create build a template and i will assign it for the place archive page similarly you can assign it for other cpts i only have place arc place cpt for now and now i will go and edit and build a body of this particular page template let's add a full width uh, section here let's use the code block now and inside that I will use the sort code called post title which will display the title of GD archive page let's keep the output to be h2 and the design is also uh, h2 let's copy this sort code and paste it here We'll save this and check in the front end but as you know that saving it here is not enough so if I refresh this page you can see it's it's still showing the old content so you already know that since we have created this template here we have to save this template from the button you see in the screen now let's refresh this page and there we go you can see the title of the archive page now we'll go back again in this container we'll remove this empty container and uh, let's align this title in the center for that in the design and then in the text and let's keep it in the center we'll save this setting here and we'll have a quick look in the front end to see if it is working there we go you can see the title is uh, you know in the middle now we'll go back again and add some background uh, for this uh, you know title header title container so you have this background section here you can see you can add the background image videos and patterns but i will go and add some you know gradient here I don't have any background image this color is good so I will just use it and also in the design section I will assign some height to that container for that I'll go here in the sizing and let's do the mean height to be something let's decide 20 pixel we'll save the setting here and we'll have a quick look in the front end there we go here you can see the title is not middle aligned so for that i will go here and uh, in the spacing let's add some padding to it so let's make it 50 pixel and we'll save and check in the front end So now it is little bit middle and end. we will do the styling further let's focus on the other parts of the archive page so that i will go back again in the template and let's add one more section and this section will be regular and let's make this uh, you know container to be two column layout so on the left side i will have the sidebar and in the sidebar i will use the search sort code of gd so we will use the text block first and then let's uh, add this gd search sort code let's 
copy this output here, save it. And now let's add the other part. So for that, I will again use the text block. And inside this, I will use the regular short code used on the archive trees. Among them, first is loop action, which will display the sorting option and the grid you know, layout changing option and all of that. So I will quickly copy the short code here. And now let's add the uh, another short code called GD loop, which will basically display the loop of all the posts, all the available posts on the archive trees. Let's keep the grid to be three grid layout. Copy the short code and we'll paste it here. And now we'll again use the other short code called GD loop pagination. Let's copy it and add it here. We'll save this template and we'll have a look in the front end for this page how it looks now. There we go, much beautiful than previous. So you have the search on the left side and you have the uh, listing on the right hand side. Seems very good. So you can see the title is not properly center line. So for that, we will go back again in the editor and we will add some more padding to it. So in the spacing, let's make it 100. And from the bottom also, we will keep it 100 pixel. Let's save it so that you know, it will be properly center line. And let's refresh this page. There we go. Now it seems much better than previous. So this is our archive page, which is fully created using DB layout. You can you know do it much better um, as per your convenience. But uh, this is how it looks. Let's focus on the archive item part. So in the middle section, you see you know individual items. So for editing those, you can go in the backend and uh, in the geo directory tab settings in the pages so if you are following my videos you know this thing uh, then in the gd archive item and we'll edit this page template here so basically this page template is used on uh, that archive page as an archive item so you see here you have the different option and you can customize it here so this is nothing but basically a, a new sort code created by GD called GD single archive item. But you can also put the individual sort code if you want, like the badges individually. But this is again a good option. And you can customize these archive item using that template. Now let's focus on the search page and you know this this is our search page look like search result page we'll go again back in the db since it you now since the search page also follow the gd archive kind of look so what i'm doing here is uh, i will use the same template for search page too if you want you can create a separate page so you know here in the other section you see the gd search result so if you select that page option, the same template will be will also be used on the search result page. So I'm again saying that if you want to customize the search result page template, you can also create an individual you know, page template for specifically for the search result page. Let's do some search and see how it looks. There we go, you can see here in the title also got changed. And these are the listings that got changed. Beautiful. So I hope you like this video. And uh, you know, if you like, like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and you know, subscribe to the channel for more such helpful videos.